Right, Needland entered tonight winners of 24 straight district games. 2010 was the last time a Needland football team lost a district contest. Oh, that season's also the last time the Vider Pirates beat the Bulldogs. Enough talk now to the action. Ivan Crow Field at Pirates Stadium 22-5A district opener. Nederland at Vider. Both squads wanting to feel that thrill of victory more than ever before. Pirates received the ball to start with and they march right down the field. Hale and Leckett Le Le carrying the rock right into the end zone. Pirates would take a 6-0 lead right out of the gate. Needland though would they get their turn and they'd capitalize. Sage say laterals to Austin Krauts and Krauts with a slight zigzag. He goes in untouched. Bulldogs take their first lead of the night up seven to six. Vider goes three and out so the dogs back on in business and they get it into pirate territory thanks to quarterback Sage say keeping the ball and taking off. He runs all the way down to the pirate 39 yard line. A few plays later say He's going to go to the air. Watch this perfect pass. Connor Perkins on the other end. Touchdown, Needleland Bulldogs up 14 to 6. Here's what happened when Vider would have possession next. They get met quickly by a pack of dogs. He's going nowhere. Needleland takes over on downs and say goes for a big play. A bomb. Perkins, the intended receiver, just off his hands. Oh, it's no good. Bulldogs with a tough break there. Second quarter still driving. Say finds Austin Krauts, who dives for the end zone, but they call him out just short. So they're at the goal line and knocking on the door. That leads to Say calling his own number and pounding it in. 21-6 Nederland at that point. We'll go to the big board in this one. Vider made some adjustments in the second half. They were able to put some points on the board, but Nederland gets the district opening win. 50-32 to the final. Nederland now 1-0 in district. Their first win of the season and their 25th straight district win. Of course, our team tailgate reporter James Ware. You know, he's seen his fair share of <laughs> Vider and Nederland football games. He can add another doozy to the resume tonight. We'll turn things over to James for more with Nederland. There you go. You see it now. The Nederland Bulldogs celebrating. Forget 0-3. The yeah, Nederland Bulldogs no. are 1-0 to start district playing. No. Coach, let's start out with what you like tonight. Well, I, think, I think offensively we've seen a lot of what we've been seeing in the first three games. We're very productive offensively. The biggest thing tonight is we finished a lot and we put some points on the board where we've been coming away empty. Defensively, same thing goes. We had some great stops early, and we got a little leaky in the second half. We got to com continue to improve, but overall, an improvement. You jumped on them early. I mean, yeah, you put up 31 in the first half, so, uh, you know, that's a good start. Well, they didn't go away. It's like I told somebody a while ago, this, this district, in Bider and the games we've had here, regardless of our start in the nine district, they're all about the same. You got to play till the very end of the game. My hat's off to Coach Matthews and his staff and his team for how they played against the adversity they were facing. And then, but hey, it's a lesson for us. We're going to get that every week, and, uh, and we're proud to be in this district. Yes, These guys needed this too. I mean, starting 0 and 3. I mean, uh, to non-district, but uh, this win now is going to pump them. We up don't. We don't it. do all the stuff in all season and work as hard as we do to not try to win a game. Yes, and uh, so, for what that's worth, yes, we're excited about being on the Got right side of the scoreboard tonight. Well, let me ask you about what they need to work on this week: uh, closing football games. I mean, they got within six points mm -hmm. late. Yeah. Well, that's what I was saying. We. We really got off to a better start first half by closing offensively than we did in the previous games. It got a little leaky there in the second half. You turned the ball over and had some costly penalties, and uh, and defense made a few plays for us, but uh, they drove the ball on us too. So it's, that's the nature of this district, though. It's not an unusual game for us and Bowder to go that way. Yeah. So uh, we got the win. Got that's the, the win. most important thing, and we just got to go to work next week. There'll be a, a very good old team coming. Next, baby, let's go, baby. How big is this for you guys? How big is this for you guys? This, this win is big, man. This, I feel so. I'm just proud of this team right Who now. Next? I love y'all, man. And just we got to keep working Monday, baby. We got to keep working. Let's do it, baby. Yeah. We coming, baby. Yeah. Five straight district championships for the Needham Bulldogs. They'll be looking for six now as they go on to Ozan next week and host the Ozan Panthers.